you hear anything? Huh? No machines. No tools. Let's go find that gunsmith. Maybe he's upstairs now. figure of Comstock now. Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Excuse me, Chen Lin? Who are you? You speak up! Speak up! Can't hear you over all these machines! Very loud! I'm Booker DeWitt. Stand back! These machines very dangerous. Wait downstairs with Mrs. Lin. Uh, Daisy Fitzroy sent us. We need to talk to you about getting some weapons. Machines very dangerous. No place for stupid people. Want to lose pretty head? Mr. Lin. Downstairs! What is wrong with him? Remember him dead in that cell? Maybe in, in some way he remembers that too. How would you reconcile that? Oh, no. Kill my husband? Calm his troubled thoughts. Ease his burden. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm looking for Mrs. Lin. I'm Mrs. Lin? No, I, I mean a little Chinese lady. She was... Booker, this is Mrs. Lin. They took Chen's tools. What's he got without his tools? Well, your husband is a bit out of sorts. If he could work again, maybe if, if he could work, he'd... Mrs. Lin, can you tell me who took your husband's tools? Goddamn police. They took them and locked them up in the impound in Shantytown. Would having his tools back fix his mind? Who cares? We're not getting any guns if Chen Lin doesn't have his tools. Let's head to Shantytown. Did you notice? Lin had a bloody nose. Seems to be in style. Miss Tara. I'm not so sure it was a good idea. The hyena is a trickster. They live to stir up trouble. You beware the hyena. mystery to me as anyone else. Maybe Songbird knows, but he's not talking. I'm sorry. What for? I get to wear this stylish thimble to cover up my hideous deformity. I hear they're all the rage in Paris. Go ahead. Sure thing. Great! On it! 
hold on to this. Take it. You must think me some sort of freak. A girl who can bring dead men back to life. Whose only acquaintance is a, a giant bird creature. I must seem ridiculous. You just got dealt a bad hand. I am not going back to that tower no matter what happens. They won't stop until they have me. Why? What did I do to them? You frightened them. Good. Almighty Silver Eagle, so you can buy everything they're selling to keep you down, brothers. But Daisy Fitzroy says there's another way. Another way coming. These people are like this because I think. Maybe Daisy's right. Maybe she should pay him back for all of this. Not before she pays us. We're here for guns and then the airship. Back it up, Scout. Obliged. You're dead, Peg. Join the fight. No reprieve for you. Heads off. <laughs> <laughs> Over there. Go ahead. Okay. treated like men. Others like animals. There's plenty of places down below where you'll find more of the same. Like a wounded knee. Yeah. 
like a wounded knee.
go. Argued something fierce at night, Lady Comstock and a prophet. Could never make out what it was about from my bunk, though. After the worst, I seen she ain't left for morning prayer. So I crept upstairs to check in on her. And like a fool, I lingered. Scullery maid was what they called me when I walked into Comstock House. Murderer was what they shouted when I ran out. Lock needs picking. Let me see. Lay down! Catch! That'll do!
about her already. There they are, the tools. Now we just have to get them back to the Vox, and then we get our airship. Can you open this, Elizabeth? Let me see. There. Who are we really helping by getting guns for the Vox Populi? It's gonna help us. Daisy can make a change, can't she? Make things better for the people here. Sure. We sure as hell aren't gonna be able to carry all this back to the shop. God, we didn't think this all the way through. What is that? It looks like a tear. To a, another version of this room that doesn't have any tools in it tools aren't in there, then, then they must be back, back at the, at the shop. shop. Booker, if we go into this terra, I don't think there's any to go back. Are you sure you want to go now? Head back to the gunsmith and finish our deal. I aim to be on that airship, well shut of this place for long. Booker, if the Vox get their weapons, there's going to be a revolution just like Les Miserables. These people are gonna have better lives. Yeah. at the beginning of a fire. For the first flame, you see them possums and squirrels running through the trees. They know what's coming. But the fat bears with their bellies full of honey, well, you can't hardly wake them up from their comfortable hibernation. 
gone to Emporium, and then we gonna see what it takes to rouse them from their slumber. Daisy's moved these people. Things can change for her, and we can be a part of it. I don't want to be a part of it. Once we get our airship, we'll be well shut of this place. traps around the lines up here. Idea was to, to bleed one of your couriers till he gave you up. Except of course, you're using kids now. Now I got this tiny engine boy eyeballing me. Tried to take his leg off. Things just lying here between us. I sure wish he'd cry or something. This world, 
think you're a hero. I remember I led the Vox. I... Slate and I burned down the Hall of Heroes. Booker. Their nose. Hard to think. Two memories in the same Booker, place. Booker, come back to me. We're going to find Daisy Fitzroy. Let's go. I want you to play this recording and remember that I am the proudest woman in Colombia to have been your wife. They said your soul was stolen by the fumes of that man metal box, but this I do not believe. A beast meant to be ruled over. And we shall meet again. Someone capable of rational thought. Both of not us someone with their own life. dreams and aspirations. I love Not you. someone trying to make sure their kids have it better than they did. I love you. The founders see you as something to be controlled. To be told when to eat, when to sleep, when to stand and sit down. Bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. As plans go, I'd seen worse, except this girl was already gone. Monument Island's a damn ghost town. It seems like they evacuated. Grab that lock. deep underground, well, you see things from the bottom up. And down at the bottom of the city, I saw a fire burning. A fire's got heat aplenty, but it ain't got no mouth. Daisy. Now she got herself a mouth big enough for all the fires in Columbia.
nice. as a hero. When it comes down to it, the only difference between Comstock and Fitzroy is how you spell the name. at enemies, delivering a tornado blow. Hold and release to build up a more devastating tornado blow.
you hold on to this. Well, I guess we did it. I don't know if I brought us to a world where the Vox had weapons. Or I created one. to midnight. I came to Columbia because I believed in God and because I believed in honor. But Slade has shown me this. There is no God in shutting our brothers out from the family of man, and there is no honor in defending those who are strangers to its meaning. Perhaps in Finkton there is one more deserving of my service. None of it. You just opened a door to this world and we stepped through. Are you sure, Booker? Did I just bring us to a world where Chenlin was alive, or... Or did I create it? I told you, I always thought that my little trick was a form of wish fulfillment. I got my wish. Yes. 
Unless someone takes that airship out. Are we volunteering?
sabotage the engine and bring this thing down. the engine and bring this thing down. to get off this thing. Elizabeth, let's go find Daisy in the factory. 